welcome 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 guys i know i have been mia for a while like i told you guys i am out of state for work so it's kind of hard to do video where i am because oh the noise i'm in a basement apartment and i just can't the place is extremely cold it's noisy so never been comfortable to do video but i'm home this weekend so i thought maybe i give you guys something to see it's not much it's just things that i have bought in the last maybe two months um but this is mostly going to be like almost like i want to say my goodwill farm for my goodwill farm on ebay for all the comments thank you to all of my new comments thank you to my old pigs guys you know i love you all i appreciate you nails is not done because this hospital is very very straight on no air credit so i'm not wasting my money and besides i didn't even want to be doing my nails too much because it kind of hurts um but yeah we're back with another haul today is another collective haul but as i was saying before i left i want to you should maybe say this is my ebay goodwill fine i don't have a lot of good thrift store everywhere i go so i have been thrifting basically on ebay on the goodwill of san francisco and i found some pieces and i also thrifted some designer pieces from japan so i'm going to be showing you guys that but before we go to my ebay and whatever i'm going to show you a couple of shoes we'll start with ego ego had a sale and there were some shoes i've been eyeing so and i got them for really reasonable prices so i just thought i shared them with you guys and the first ego pair of shoes we have is this black shoes right here i got it because it was on sale like i said it is unique style is different um the heel i think they, they were going for like a lower bit kind of style they have some of the egg shoes but i'm not into all of this i'm not brave for those those shoes yet so this makes sense to me um so it's kind of a lower bit vibe for the shoes and it have like a wrapped around the ankle i'm not such a fan of these shoes but I noticed that's what most of these shoes like with eagles so yeah beautiful black shoes huh i will leave a little cut away for you guys to see how this look after i do my nails because my nail is really really ridiculous my foot um but yeah so that's that and i paid seven dollars for this one so these are the shoes My next eco pair is this one right here i bought this with the hope of wearing them to work but when i put it on i like i don't think so if i have to run and do cpr this is not going to work i'm getting all of these shoes i'm a us 9.5 10 and i'm getting these in uk size 7 because that's what fit me i tried a uk 8 and it was extremely big so yeah uk 7 this is like a platform this would be nice for the fall we're coming up to the fall and this thing is it's really lightweight the goal was to wear it to work but like i said even though we wear like a the dense go i can run in the dense go compared to this so i'm just going to wear this during the fall with my jeans some dresses um yeah so that's that this too was seven dollars the last eagle shoes we have in this haul is one i have been looking at for a minute and when it went on sale i think this was 14 dollars no this was less than 14 dollars when this went on sale i was like i am definitely getting this this is like a kajia it's a dupe of the kajia one of the kajia shoes and this is gold i got the gold they also have it in black i believe um same structure i also got this in the size 7 uk 7 and i'm a, like i said us 9.5 so 9.5 to 10 so you can make the judgment if you want to get these shoes um the platform here i know it looks different but hey different is is what i like i don't like to be everybody 
and this is the other one beautiful shoes though i i really like this this is my making uh kogia like i said the heel is very very heavy and sturdy i have not tried it on to walk in it and see how it feels but i believe with this kind of platform i should be safe we can only hope but yeah i think i should be safe and i think we should be safe because it's very sturdy and it have like a good grip this is not going with anytime soon and my all of my eagle shoes this would be my pick if i have to pick i really love um the style and the concept i believe this was between nine to seven dollars i don't think i paid fourteen dollars guys for the next pair of shoes i'm going to show you guys i got this from the git this is a platform gucci sandals that i got from the git strawberry um i wore it already i wore it twice um when i was where i was i did wear it to go to the movie and then i wore it when i was on my way here yesterday so this is very pretty um it kind of like squishing around my feet over here a little bit but I, the first time i wore it it was a little bit that uncomfortable but yesterday it was much better i guess because i wasn't really walking and it really pretty on the feet i have somebody who always criticized almost everything that i have but they were able to say oh my god your shoes is pretty so i like this gotta be pretty for this person to say this um really really pretty i believe i pay around 35 to 40 dollars i will list the price for this one uh for you guys to see uh yeah and i also try to maybe give you guys a link for this um so you guys can go ahead and get it from the seller like they have good everybody that bought they have like a real good ratings on it maybe next year if they still have some i'm gonna get another star to it but i went for the strawberry color because why not next pair of shoes is this one i got from i got this from poshmark this is a jimmy Chu london and this is so cute when i put it on um i love it i'm not going to show you the bottom of this because this this was worn by this person i got this in the 40.5 which is 4.9.5 uh, no wonder why it feel really good on my feet it don't feel too tight and i love this on the feet this is like almost like silverish gold or champagne gold i would say um really pretty i love the tassel and this little jewelry on here it makes the shoe really unique like i said when you put this on and it came with all the tassels intact all the little you have some little diamonds hanging on the tassel over here i'm not sure if you guys can see it that's just really really unique um i got this shoe for less than 60 dollars on poshmark so i thought that was a very good sale so i call this thrifting for me because you know this shoe sell for like six seven hundred dollars even though the person wore it the person had the right to sell the shoes for at least two hundred dollars with all fair game because it's pretty but if they brought it down for that price i feel like i thrifted a real good piece so yeah i don't buy everything new i love to thrift um why not save the planet recycle that's what we all about so i really really love this um like i said this is really beautiful i will list the price but i believe i pay less than 60 dollars or even if i pay 60 dollars i feel like it's way worth it if i was the one selling this i probably would have been selling it around a hundred and something dollars because nothing is missing on the shoes it just need a little bit cleaning for tlc other than that you good to go two pair of shoes i got this one on shoots i believe that's how they call this website shoots they had a sale so i decided to go on there and check them out i was mostly looking for orange pair of shoes because like i said i really don't have an orange pair of shoes and i got a couple of pieces that will go perfectly with that so the goal was to get those um it came back i opened and look at it but i have not worn them yet maybe try it on to see how it look like so this is the first uh shoot shoes that i have shoot is, is you should have sold in like most of these uh, luxury designer store like nordstrom sacks uh sacks fave um Nima Marcus, 
they all carry these uh, shoes, school, uh, shoes so they are um, they're not that like on the expensive side but they between the shoe sales between 150 to whatever I believe I got this on sale for out of 50 or 40 something dollars so like I said I only hunt for orange pair of shoes I got this in 10B so if you're a little bit um, big for me and these shoes are made in Brazil oh my god so they are 100% leather now I'm beginning to love them more I thought they were made in China I just literally look at them and it said made in Brazil so made in Brazil shoe is really um, a good quality another designer I know that makes a lot of the shoes in Brazil I think it's called Gia as well I don't know how uh, cost is with making shoes but now I even love this shoe appreciate it more now that I know it was but like I said scoosh it's a wrap around as well really pretty I will try to look for my uh, invoice and put a price um, I love the asymmetrical style over here almost like the um, shoes from Eagle really love it the concept I wish it had like a single strap where I could say like a how do we call it? like invisible sandals but it came with this tassel on here so we'll manage it um, and see what it's all about the orange is a little bit deeper than what I wanted but that's fine I love it so it's like a reddish orange I don't know how it's showing up on camera but this is really pretty um, so yeah, I just thought that I want to try it on. It feels a little bit big, I guess, because it was 10 day. And it also comes with a dust bag, and the dust bag is quality. I doubt if the two pair of shoes would fit in there, but I mean, if the two photo shoes would fit in there, but yeah, pretty. It came in 10 B. I don't think I picked 10 B, but maybe based on my size, to send this. Not mad at it. Really pretty in this hall is another swoosh shoots or something however forgive me if I'm not saying it right they also come with the dust bag the, the shoes will not fit in there one will fit in the uh, both of them will not fit when I saw this I'm like oh my god I bought this um it's like it's almost like a black but it's not black this is like dark chocolate brown I got a fanny purse fanny purse in this color so when i saw it that was the goal for that yeah i love the shoes um these were on sale i love these shoes still made in brazil they still same in this 10b is 23 on uh, leather scrap i love this you guys can see this the hue i'm not young uh, my bones hurt is it cracks i have bone problem i have like bone density so heavy bones because of that my bones really hurt so i turn it to tone down my you know stiletto heels like the kitty heel and go for like since i love heels still keep the heel concept but go for like something platform that would give me balance and yeah this is really pretty this is cute i'm not sure if they have the sale i bought this maybe over a month ago but i couldn't do the video because um like i said i'm out of state for work but yeah pretty really love it love it love 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 this shoes so yeah that's it for the shoes now we're going to go over to i guess jewelry i have only two jewelry so i'll show you guys those um the first one is this necklace this is very dainty i don't know i think i told you guys before i love the dainty necklaces and all my dainty necklaces is 95 or 98 percent is 14 carat or 10 carat gold because i can just throw them on my neck and let them stay there forever i don't have to take them out i leave them i sleep i bed i do everything with them I got this for on Gil, which is the same as Rula Lai. Um, this is Italian gold, 14 carat, and this is like the humping bird. I got her. 
and I paid ninety nine dollars for this. Did I regret it ninety nine dollars? Yes, I could have gotten this on a TJ Maxx on sale for like sixty seventy dollars. However, I did not want to return it, so I'm going to keep it. This is adjustable, but I am never going to adjust my necklace because I bought one with my initial on it that I thought I'd be wearing forever. And I put it on the adjustment and I mistakenly cut it, even though I still have one, but it's still not good. I'm going to take it to the jewelry to get it fixed. But yeah, love this. This you can make it shorter so you can have like a choker or you can just leave it long like this. And for the last jewelry in this haul is this wash. Um, This is called, I think it's gel rail. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, but GD2, this would be my second one. This wash is, they have diamonds on there and they usually sell for like 2000 plus. And my first one I bought, I got that from, from Poshmark on sale for hundred, I mean for around hundred and something dollars. This one I also got for, on eBay from a seller that I have, I'm going to list the name of the store because they sometimes have like real good designer pieces for real affordable prices. I have gotten so many designer from this person um, for the price of little or nothing. And I really appreciate that. So when I saw this, I got this another, uh, got me another Gerald GV2 wash. And I believe I paid $99 for this. But like I said, if you go on this particular website for these watches, it sells for $2,000. And I'm going to register this as well because you can register your watch for lifetime warranty. And so it came with all the packaging. It came with the authenticity card. Um, it have a code on here that I can go on there and just do what I have to do. And it also, so when you take it out, that's the box and we are going to so this is model of pearl i have not worn it yet or i will not wear it yet until i can take it to the mall to get it adjusted because my hand is very small brand new and uh, this is rose gold and saver and this is might be the first one i have i think the face is bigger than this one this one the face is a much much more smaller i think but it's all diamonds like you have on this wash um we are trying to take this plastic off of this wash so you guys can have an idea of what it is all diamonds over here and i'm going to also ensure this wash because it's costly um, and I thought this was the mother of pearl, but I guess it's not. So it's the, um, silver and rose gold, like I said, really pretty. Um, you see it on the hand. So I'm going to have this adjusted and it's going to get in short because it's a costly wash. Um, yeah got this for 99 dollars my next here guys we will go to uh sunglasses so i bought me two sunglasses for nashcom rack this did not come in a case the first one is a givenchy it's not the best givenchy ever it takes a lot of fingerprint, but it still is cute. And for the price I paid for it, I am not going to complain. I think I got this for forty dollars or fifty dollars. I will list the price. Like I said, it's a wraparound uh, Givenchy sunglasses. Um, color is different. This would really go nicely during the fall time. And when you put it on, this is how it look. I think it is cute. Um, I wouldn't. I returned it back. I, this was final sale. Um, I didn't know until I purchased it, but I still, however, love it. And cute. Like I said, I pay like $40 or $30 for this. 
she wants you wrap it around some glasses I, I i like it uh i wish i would have gotten another color but that was the only one they have so i got that the next one i got for nushkan rock i got this online it's a fendi sunglasses this one came in the kiss and this is like an aviator sunglasses i don't know if this is unisex or just um feminine but it is pretty the ring is gold i'm a sucker for gold as you guys know and then the lens is kind of green and i'm a green girl so you feel you feeling me right here we have in my all my favorite color and this is also really cute i i really love this as well this i believe i paid the same for the others for so when i saw it online and for the sale price i just went for it um i love me sunglasses i love me then love me then love me then i have as much sunglasses as i have bags and shoes um next we're going to go to my scent i got me two scent um the first one is this Versace uh, perfume i got this from guild i paid 99 dollars for this but then later on saw them cheaper on ebay um i was kind of mad but that's fine because sometimes with ebay you don't even know if you're getting the authentic thing so it's cool that i got it from somewhere else and i know is um what have you Versace, the mandula head um how do they call this one i think it's the dylan blue and it is uh feminine because sometimes you don't know and you get the one that is masculine but this is feminine and the scent is really good i think it's it's really flowery it's really seductive um yeah really is seductive so with this one i know i got um the authentic thing but like i said it is on ebay some stores that i've seen that have like almost 99 98 percent review for the 40 something dollars this is the 2.5 uh fluid arms so this is going to last me a long time um uh, really really i love this smell mm, smells good scent that i have in this haul is this um loewe perfume i got this one from on ebay it was sealed and this is the loewe the ella perfume um it came sealed so i believe it's authentic i'm not sure how much i love the smell but this is the bottle right here this is feminine you also know i got a cartier as well from on ebay and i'm not i can't remember how much i paid for that i will list the price but it was between 80 to 100 dollars i think i will however list the price or maybe even lesser so you pull this out we take this out and this is this is really metal is metal i have smell much of a fruit in it it smell more like champagne -ish kind of i love this smell as well um i love it uh, so yeah that's my second scent so this one is the Loewe uh ella perfume and i got it for on ebay i will list the store that i got this one as well and i'll try to pull everything as much as i can so for us to end this vlog we're going to go into clothing first of all i always forget i got this one on the goodwill san francisco on ebay this dress you will see a colorway so i'm not going to stand up i got this this is um i don't know maybe or maybe by anthropology and i got this dress i won the day for i think 40 dollars i will list the price it's a beautiful cream colored dress um that sooner or later i will not be able to wear so i said let me wear it for you guys to see um beautiful dress i'll show you a colorway 
oops, everything fell. Another one I got is this. I thought this was a pop, but when it came, it ended up being a uh, jumpsuit. It's by the brand um, Finders Keeper. I don't know about this brand. It's in the size medium. And like I said, it's a romper or jumpsuit. And I got this. The only thing when I wear this, this sleeve keep falling out. So I don't know about that. And I got this, I believe, for ten thirty nine because usually they start from forty dollars for nineteen to forty dollars, nothing less than that. So I pay um forty dollars is lazy. It's very pretty though. I'm not going to lie. Um uh, lazy uh keeper uh founders keeper is the name of the brand i never heard of them before so next one i got guys is this so this got a little bit of stain i'm going to get me stain remover to take care of them it has stain on here but this is by the brand Ponza shooter it's a designer you know Ponza shooter sell for a hefty price but this dress was made in china um, I think if they're going to be making these clothes in China, they shouldn't be selling it for that high price. I thought this was brand new, but it, it's not. Obviously, I'm going to get this clean up. Um, and this I pay like maybe $45 to $60 for. Um, I will try to get this thing off um, if I can. And then take it to the cleaners for, for cleaning. Yeah. This I can wear with a jacket. It feels a little bit thick. So this I can wear during this um, fall and the uh, winter. The material is not light. It's, it's heavy. This piece, this one, I got from the same Goodwill San Francisco. Um, it came with, it is, kind of came out. I'm going to fix this myself before I take it to the cleaner for them to fix. It just need a little bit sewing on it. Um, so I'm just going to sew this back on here. I need to get me a yellow or gold thread. It's easy to fixable. Um, it's something that I can do. This a uh, Una Johnson dress. This is a uh, winter. This is a uh, new in. This is the winter 2022 um Ultimo Winter Collection. This feels like raincoat but it is not actually or the material feels like a wing raincoat so you can get away with it when it's raining the water will just run off of this but i love the material you can see it's kind of four color i will show you a colorway and this long sleeve is really pretty on i really love this and this i believe I, i'm not sure how much i pay i'll just list the price for you guys to see so i thrifted this on ebay clothes i will also want to say it's a thrifting this is brand new this is um valentino it's a slip dress i did not try this on because every bra i tried to wear with this was not coming out right so um i opted to leave it alone um but yeah this is navy blue beautiful it's valentino this is brand new i believe i paid this for like 30 dollars or something on um on poshmark and this is in the size small i believe that's why i'm having problem with my breast um fitting in the area here but that's the last clothing and for the last two pieces it's a handbag I think I score with these ones. Um, the first one here is my Bottega handbag. I got this Bottega handbag for on eBay, but it was from China. Beautiful um, tote bag. It's just a handheld because this cannot go over your shoulder. So you hold it in your hand like this. And I still have a little Versace stuff in here. I mean Fendi. And it's deep enough. It can take a lot. You guys can see. Deep enough. So you know all of these bags is 100% authentic. Um, 
there's a tag in here i can show you guys right now but it have the serial number and it's um say bottega i'm not sure if it was made in italy or where but this is a um silver and black beautiful bottega veneta first love it and i believe i got this for 168 dollars i will list it and also list the seller store the name of the seller store so if you want to go on there and shop you on designer as well you can do it i cannot leave link to the exact items because these are baits when they're gone they're gone but i can leave you the name of the store so you can also start thrifting ebay for the last one so they say we leave the, the best for the last it's my 100 percent authentic chanel bag I just need, I need to get a, how you call it, thing to put in there to set it up. But this is my Chanel bag that I tripped it for on eBay. This did not come cheap, y'all. Um, but the retail value on this bag is selling between $2,800. Um, I did Google it. Um, the real real have it for three thousand. I saw it somewhere else for twenty eight hundred dollars. I got this bay for like eight hundred plus uh custom taxes. I paid ninety something dollars, so it's like eight ninety, it's almost nine hundred dollars for it. It was free shipping. Um, however, because we have a real good resale value, I think I still score. Um, when I want to resell it, it's kind of in like a I would say if I'm going to grade this, I'm going to say it's in like a B plus gray. It's not an A. I am going to take it to get clean. Um, I can do the cleaning myself, but I think if I can just take it to a coupler to get it clean, it will be nice. This too is almost like a hair hair instead of a over the shoulder bag. Um, really pretty. So inside the bag is this why it's the one that is just open it don't have nothing to close it the chanel is made in france it's kind of almost fitting in i will take this to, to get authenticated so i can insure it put it on my home on, on, uh, homeowner insurance and you have the code somewhere in the bottom over here I'm going to take it to Nordstrom. I don't know how much they're going to charge me to authenticate it. As long as I can show them receipt that I did buy the bag and I didn't steal it, they will do the authentication for me. So I'm going to try to take them there so I can get it on my homeowner insurance. Um, that's another thing. If you have a home and you have valuable, it's always good to authenticate it and call your, your insurance company and insure those. So when something happens, when they get lost, you can get paid for it. Um, so yeah, this is my haul. I think it is more longer than I anticipated, but I miss you guys. I haven't seen you guys in a while, so I talk a little bit. I hope you guys like the video, guys. Please like my video. Please share. Um, I am still struggling with um, subscribers, and I'm just appealing to you guys. I think I'm bringing you guys real good content. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's my personality. I'm not sure. But I'm an introvert, if you guys don't know. And I'm really shy. So I'm trying my best. Um, I hope I can continue to bring you guys more content that you will like. I like clothes. I like shoes. I have them all. So I'm not going to stop buying. I'm just going to maybe slow down. All right, guys. Until then. Then I will see you when I see you because I'm going back to work. Um, uh, Sunday, I'll be going back to where I am. And I don't think I'm going to be having any more content until if I get back home, which will be sometime in October. Until then, I will see you all. Bye, loves.